to Enos Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video I want to make an adapter to fit my boring head onto a number two Morse taper. It will be similar to this but this is an R8 adapter. It has a one and a half inch 18 UNF thread at one end and this would be a number two Morse taper at this end. Now I know you can buy these for about £22-£23 but the problem is I need it now not in two weeks time. So let's go into the workshop see how I did it. This is what I want to make today it's going to be made from some mild steel bar we have a number two Morse taper on this end and a one and a half 18 UNF thread on this end and it holds my boring head into a Morse taper. So on this end I've got a four jaw chuck set a 50mm bar in the chuck and got this running as true as I can then I've fitted my fixed steady dial indicator on this end and got this running as true as I can. You see there it's running out about 3000. So what I want to do is face off this end, centre drill it so it will accept a centre, then I can remove the fixed steady, fix a centre there I start to turn the outside. Okay, now I'll take my fixed steady off. I've machined this part down to 20mm for a length of 85 and I've just skimmed this to get it running through and now what I want to do is part this off 108mm from the end. Now normally when I'm parting off in the four jaw chuck between the centre I do get a lot of vibration. If necessary I can take it out of the four jaw chuck, turn it round, put it in the three jaw chuck so all this would be held in the chuck and then just part off this end. So we'll see how we go. So I'm running on the about 210 RPM. So 
see the vibration straight away. Um, that will go when I get to a certain depth, but because of the length and the weight of the part, I don't want to risk it at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll take this out the chuck and put it in a three jaw chuck and see how that goes. Okay, from this angle you can see I've got about four inches inside the chuck here. This is where I'm parting off. And I'm just supporting this with the centre on the end. I'm not going to go straight through because this is a heavy block of metal to be hitting my lathe. So we'll, if I can get to about a quarter of an inch diameter, then I'll saw it off the rest of the way. And what I'm doing to relieve the pressure on the blade, I'm just going to widen the slot a bit. going to slacken the blade off and push it out a bit further and then tighten it up again. That's because the bar is nearly touching the face, so now we should have a little more depth on there to carry on.
It's about three or four millimetres left the bottom of that. So I can take this out. You should be able to break this off. That's my best parting off tool. Still using the original tip. It's been about three or four months. I haven't put any oil on there. Face that off, centre drill it. Forty eight point five. I need that about forty seven. Forty seven point one four that'll do. That's what we've got so far. Blank piece there for the Morse taper. Blank piece there for a one and a half inch 18 UNF. Centering each end. So now I can set this up between centers. Turn the taper and then cut the thread. And we'll finish that off next week. Oh well. That's it for today. Hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. Look after yourselves and we'll see you next time on Enox Engineering.